first steps. First step is going to be to remove this relocker plate. This pin holds that pin, which is spring loaded, which drops into right there if someone tries to hit the face of this safe with a hammer. So we just remove these two screws here and here. As you remove the second screw, the plate on the back of this dial pack is just going to drop. And so is the relocker. Most likely. I'd be surprised if it doesn't. And hmm, that's weird. Okay, so it didn't drop for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, you have to take this plate off. We're going to set that aside. This is how the relocker works. Now to get this dial to spin out, you got to remove this little keeper pin. And now all you do is unscrew the dial. to remove this we're going to unscrew the four screws on the corners well, this one Third. I know absolutely nothing about this sort of thing. Guitar, guitar, and that's the fourth one. And that is what it looks like without it on there. And now we're going to remove the top and bottom screw there. Now this just removes. Sometimes you kind of have to work it a little bit. There you go. Alrighty, and now we install, install these two screws on the top and the bottom. And that'll hold the dial on the safe. Just like that. I'll tighten that down. Until they stop. Just like that. Alright. And this is the dial. And of course it takes a 9 volt battery. So we're going to go ahead and put that on there. Now that we got the battery, we're just going to tuck that into the actual dial itself. Just like that. Okay, maybe like that. It'll only kind of go in one way. There we go. We're tuck our wires in behind that piece of plastic. Like that. Make sure they're out of the way. We're going to fish this wire through this hole. And once we have it in there, just like that, there's a channel right here where those screws line up, and then it just pops down. in place and you pop it down 
now we're going to install the inside lock. Now we're going to go ahead and remove this screw and this screw so that we can screw our relocker plate back on. And when we install this, we want to install this so that the flat side faces the bolts. Okay, now we're going to install the lock body. And there is a little valley in the back here, which allows for you not to pinch this wire. And obviously the flat side goes towards the bolt. And we're going to install our three screws. And then we're going to install our relocker plate to hold up our relocker pin. Final screw, tighten that down. Alrighty, now that is installed, now for the rear locker plate.